folks, welcome back to my Minecraft survival world. Today I'm going to add a medieval style docks area to our base here in Taiga Town, the little village we've been constructing here at our spawn point all season long. True, we already have this little boat dock on the ocean behind my starter house. This is different than what we're going to build today. This is designed to let you row right up to this bottom row of slabs in a Minecraft boat. The slabs stop you so that you can get out pretty easily, but if you row up to any other part of the dock, you might trigger a little glitch like you see here. We're rowing right through the dock. The dock we're gonna build today will be located here on this little nub of land just past the horse stables. By the way, if you like these little stables, there's a quick and easy build tutorial for them on my channel. These docks will be more of a shipping and receiving area for cargo, sure, but mainly for visitors. The docks will be taller. We won't be able to dock a Minecraft boat on them, but we will be able to dock a medieval ship here, and that's what I'm going to build next in this series. Whatever happens, there will definitely be spruce. So today I'm going to show you how to plan and build a medieval style docks area for your world in Minecraft and if you like what you see and enjoy it please do click the like button and help me show this video to more Minecraft lovers on YouTube. But this piece of land makes it difficult to visualize a wharf here. That's the word I was trying to think of. What I actually think I'm talking about here is a wharf. But this land we have to work with here is just not very substantially built up naturally. It just slopes too much. It slopes too much this way and it slopes too much here on this side that's closest to the ocean. So the first thing we need to do with this land is terraform it. First I moved some sand around, just trying to make the beach line look a little better. After a visit from a wandering trader who sold me some nice items before I murdered him and his llamas, I started drawing a stone line around this little piece of land between the ocean and the river. This line will form the basis of a stone retaining wall just like the one we built along the river a few episodes ago. Now I'm going to raise the stone wall four blocks high and then I'm going to dig out all the sand below the beach. Sand being a valuable resource to a guy who still hasn't found a desert in his survival world. Once the sand's all dug out, I start the process of refilling it with dirt. But pretty soon here, I mistakenly thought I'd run out of dirt, so I started filling in with stone. I intentionally left the top level empty so that I could cover with grass blocks and what little dirt I had left. While filling in the top layer with dirt, I suddenly realized that I was going to have to move back the slope, and since that would be a great way to regain some of the dirt and grass blocks I'd used so far, I started digging below the stables. Now I started texturing the stone retaining walls the same way I did along the West River by mining about 50% or more of the stone and replacing it with a mix of andesite, cobblestone, and all varieties of stone brick. I tend to get a little artsy and picky about this process and it took me way longer than needed. Just like the other retaining wall, I'm going ahead and adding half slabs to every other block along the top. I'll probably have to take back quite a few of these later, but it's fine because I want to establish the pattern for now. With the retaining wall all done, I decided this area below the stables would be better served by another, shorter retaining wall dividing the top level from the bottom. I added a nice stone brick staircase from the upper to lower area, and then of course I replaced some of the stairs and wall blocks to add texture. After that, I just went around fixing things until I felt we were in good shape. We should have taken this step a long time ago. This is now a huge piece of land. I love this upper level retaining wall in this curve part with the trees. This is another like surprise that occurred to me while I was in the midst of building. And I can't believe that I planted a birch tree here. It just, it stands out so well. I'm not a big fan of birch, but it really does look good unless I turn this way. And then, well, it kind of blends, of course. I'm really liking these textured stone stairs and I connected the path to it up here at the top and added some extra stone and some extra plants over here. This is so big. Several buildings could be built in this space, which I was not anticipating. So let me do a little bit of layout, maybe plant a few more trees in the area here and figure out what I'm going to build in this uh, big new space that we have here and where. Obviously, the first thing we need is the wharf itself, which will just be a long wooden platform extending out into the ocean. Seems like the ideal spot would be like right here, which is kind of in the middle of the wall, but we'd have less space to lay out stuff. I, you know, I don't think we need all that much space. I think if the building, kind of, like if there was a building back here and it kind of came out this far, 
I think that'd be okay. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of layout in this area. I'm going to build the dock and I'll be back in just a few seconds. All right, guys, so the dock's all done. Dock's not being a very difficult thing to build. So they're just, you know, there's some standing on the beach here. There's some down in the water. Take a little swim down here. Hopefully there's no drown. But yeah, uh, I made sure to dig out. So yeah, as you can see, I dug between the sand there and the sand there. I definitely wanted to make sure that all of the posts were sunk into the ground. And as you can see, I've got some nice supports under here. So there's a stripped spruce log there, and then there's some stairs on either side of it, and then there's some stairs up against it. So this is a well supported dock. I've used trapdoors uh, going in, spruce trapdoors going in different directions to kind of try to break up the pattern a little bit. I didn't want it to become too plain. And of course we need to use some lanterns just to light this up. Uh, this is by no means final. When we build a boat out here, we might add some more details to this dock. We're definitely going to add some crates. Uh, I'm using note blocks as crates in my world. And we're also definitely going to use some chests to make it look like the boat's being unloaded and then everything will be carried over here. All right, so we are definitely ready to moor a ship here or dock a ship here, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we will be doing that in the next episode. So now I had to tackle the rest of this because we built up this area and it, I, we had much more space than I was expecting. So uh, I came up with this kind of makeshift plan. We're going to build a warehouse in this area. So this is kind of big and it doesn't look like a warehouse right now, but this is just the ground floor plan. So uh, I'm not going to use plain stone to build it. I think I'm going to use a combination of cobblestone and brick up top. So here is the side entrance. And then when you get in here, there's going to be stacks of double chests, three by three stacks of double chests uh, all the way down here. So I got to finish making all the chests. And as you can see, all the chests are sitting on top of little uh, tables. That way, of the, you know, if this area was ever flooded or if the warehouse ever got wet or anything, none of the chests would be damaged. And that way, everybody who is keeping stuff here would be well protected. So then we're going to have ladders in a couple places. Uh, we'll have another ladder between these and one over there. And then we'll have a big ladder uh, here. And this will be about the height of the upper level. The upper level will have a uh, like a loft. Um, it won't matter as much what goes up here because, I mean, we'll have so many double chests down there. We surely don't need as many double chests up here. So we'll have a lot of barrels and a lot of blocks and a lot of items. And what I want to have is like right down here in this area, actually floating above that area right there, I want to have like a winch arm that extends out and I want it to be lifting up a pallet of items. And so the up on this upper level, there'll be a bay door right here that you will, uh, you know, pull up the pallet of items and then you'll roll it in and then you'll unload it here in the warehouse. And then also on the second level here, I want a balcony that goes out this way. I think we'll probably just have a series of archways that go out to a balcony that will straddle this area. So this will be a series on the lower level. There'll be a series of stone archways between each of these two blocks and also between these blocks going all the way down. And then above that, there's going to be like a little wooden deck, a little little balcony where you can just kind of come out and stare at people and stare at the rest of the town over there. I think that'll be nice. So then this layout uh, is a little bit less developed. This is, I actually had a very similar layout like this over there where the warehouse is just a few minutes ago, but I tore it up when I had the idea to make it a full scale warehouse. Uh, so what I was going to do was have a series of shops over there and a series of shops over here, but I've abandoned that idea. I don't think, I mean, we have a shopping area. We don't want to take away from the villagers who are already selling stuff there. So I think this is just going to be a series of premium storage bays. So if people don't want to store their stuff in the warehouse with all the other items from all the other travelers, then they can get a premium storage bay here. And uh, we'll have like uh, garage doors made out of like trap doors, uh, raised trap doors going all the way up. We'll have one of them a little bit open and then we'll have it full of items and stuff like that. We'll probably just have the other two closed and I'll probably put some uh, torches in there just to make sure that they're spawn proof. All right, so now I've filled up my inventory with a stack of 
uh, cobblestone and a stack of polished andesite blocks. I'm going to replace all of these protruding blocks with uh, polished andesite and I'm going to replace all of these walls all along the lower wall here with uh, cobblestone. Okay, I, you know what, I'm really excited about this. I managed, uh, you know, I thought I was going to texture this brick the way I normally do, but instead I decided just to use the mossy cobblestone and the mossy brick and the crack bricks. And then I'm using brick walls to kind of recede some of the walls and even brick stairs. I'm liking this. Guys, I'm really liking this. And if you're liking it too, please consider clicking on the like button. That would help me show this to more people and I would really appreciate it. And this is like, I mean, this is impressive. In fact, when we get a roof on it, it's going to be more impressive. So what I want here is to simulate like a couple of big doors that are open. Okay, well, maybe they're not all open. Maybe we'll make this one like, you know, we'll make a, okay, so kind of like we did with the barn doors, right? So just to show you guys who didn't see my barn tutorial, what I mean, these are the barn doors, right? So one is, you know, two wide and the other one is one wide. But it's obvious that you could probably close this one, swing it shut, and they would probably latch together and this barn would be closed up for the night. Uh, so I'm going to do something similar over there, but I'm going to have them be open. All right, yeah, so we're going to have one open on this side since that'll look, you'll, it'll be better. All right, let me just show you. So, uh, and then to put more trapdoors, we're just going to shift click on top of these. Uh, we're going to have to get up high. Well, I might just be able to jump it. Let's see. Yeah, I can just jump it. I can bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. All right. So that's a door, right? And now we just need another one here, but I want it to be open. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This one closed, obviously. Oh, no. Nope. That doesn't look good. So is that door. That door is on the wrong side too. All right, yeah, so this one is easy to move. We just put another uh, column of these out here like this. All right, now that's looking pretty good. And then we just put the other one here. All right, there we go. So that's one door closed and the big door open. And it opens outward. I like it. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put this floor on on top of here. So I've already done the balcony. I like this. I like uh, sectioning it off. I like breaking up these regular spruce planks any way I can. I like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing here, sort of. The middle part is easy. We just need a bunch of planks. All right, so on either side of this thing, we're just going to do a couple of planks, and that should be pretty easy. All right, and then we have to do these doors so that they will still open. Uh, so I guess another plank goes in each of these. That might be temporary, I don't know. So then above, all right, so let's get the stairs. In the, so above each of these, we want a slab. And then this way, from around here, we're gonna put a stair there. All right, let's go see what it looks like down here. Perfect, that looks perfect. You could barely tell that there's a little, that there's like a little niche up there. And you can open these chests. It's almost like magic. Okay, it's kind of perfect. I mean, I literally just ran out of planks right there. Still have some stairs and some slabs, but I ran out of planks right there. All right, to prevent spawns, we're just going to put a lantern right in the middle of each of these pallets. 
of crates. And look at that. Look at that. I like it. Oh, I like this so much. The textured walls, the ladders up, and everything. And I think what these ladders need is some very industrial looking trapdoors at the top. So we're going to use oak. And it stands out a little bit, and that's good. That lets the worker, uh, that reminds the workers in here that there are trapdoors on each of these sides. Okay, this build is really going pretty easily. I chose an easy build because, of course, I wasn't anticipating building something this big at all in this episode. So this is going really well, and I'm going to build up the second level and the roof of this in a quick time lapse. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Here is the upper level interior of the warehouse. This is probably the only area that you didn't see on the time lapse. Uh, here it is. Here is my winch for, uh, for pulling items up. And here I have a pallet uh, full of cargo. Cargo boxes, crates, barrels. Yeah, so this, this the idea here is that you would pull on this chain, pull stuff up, and then uh, maybe there's some kind of uh, rudder under here. We don't really have that kind of uh, thing that we can build in Minecraft, but maybe there would be like some sort of uh, like uh, re track to pull it back along. So this wheel would pull back and then you could put the pallet down on the ground in here. Otherwise, yeah, here is the, the balcony. And then I've just got stacks of stuff everywhere. So we got wheat, melons, pumpkins. <laughs> Oh yeah, back here I even put a couple of empty shulker boxes just, you know, because we have all kind of storage. This is all empty, but, you know, it looks good sitting here and, you know, fills up the space pretty nicely. The pallet, of course, looks even better from the from the lower level, you know, suspended up above there. You're like, oh, wow, is that really <laughs> safe to, uh, to cross under? And I've done some uh, terraforming here, so I did some additional work on the dock. We've got some anchors here looking like... Uh, things that you could possibly tie a large vessel to and that they might hold it here. So that's better. Put some crates and uh, some chests here just to show that like, you know, cargo is being unloaded. It's probably being carried down the dock and dropped here. Waiting for the next pallet. We got more stuff that didn't make this pallet. And then I uh, textured the ground here with a mixture of cobblestone, stone, path blocks, and some andesite. 
and also uh, worked on this area a little bit, put some bushes over here to sort of reinforce this edge just to kind of keep people from walking off here. And uh, also kind of continued this along here. And then here's the little building. I went ahead and built this off camera. As you can see, it has a uh, it has a blackstone roof too. That's a regular blackstone up there. And it has three bays. Um, these two are empty, but they're like shut, you know, so it just from appearances just appears to be shut up. And this one, the door is open and it's open outward. And here's the little storage bay. So here's somebody's storing their pumpkins and there's a little table in here that's holding them off the ground, of course, so that they don't get wet. Uh, very important to keep your pumpkins dry, I would imagine. There's still a lot to do here. Um, I need to, there's, it's very dark here, actually. I put a light over here by the stairs and that's nice, but right in this area is basically a spawning ground. So uh, I'm going to need to do my little trick with uh, digging up some of the dirt here and replacing it with jack-o'-lanterns that uh, light up the area and covering those with green carpet. Can also do it here with jack-o'-lanterns in the pavement and gray carpet on top of them. And we need a couple of other things here. Uh, a couple of other features, maybe like a garden, like over here, there could be like a garden in this whole area. I'm not really sure. And maybe like a fountain instead of, uh, you know, me just growing vines and uh, having a vine farm here at the entrance that might get kind of ugly. So maybe I'll cut down the vines and put like a little water fountain in this area. So just to kind of fill up the space, but I'll definitely do that uh, after this episode because I'm kind of running out of time. So what do you think, guys? I think we're all ready to build a boat here, docked, and then I think pretty much that my town here, Taiga Town, will be all finished. And uh, that's it for this episode, guys. I certainly hope you like the dock series, and if you do, please do me a huge favor and click the like button and help me show the video to more people on YouTube. And I appreciate it. I'm Duty Boy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to catch up on my next Minecraft video and have a fantastic day.